This thing is not very light. Who remembers this thing? If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might recall that last fall, I put this portable power supply through a series of tests. I tried to determine if it was worth its price tag by seeing if it could power things like hair dryers, coffee grinders, I did a tea kettle if my memory serves me, and I also ran a few different Vitamix models. Then this spring, I also wanted to find out how long this thing could power a chest freezer so that if the power ever turned off and your freezer was full of food, could you plug it into this thing and how, how much time would that give you? So all that work's already been done. It's on this channel, you could go check it out. I'm not really gonna digress too much there, but I will say that I'm thoroughly impressed with this product. The EcoFlow people did an amazing job and the market rewarded them greatly because when they launched this product last fall, they raised almost 3 million bucks on Kickstarter out the gate, just like that. So congrats EcoFlow and thank you for your ingenuity. In today's video, I have another exciting announcement. Ugh. The fine folks over at EcoFlow have a brand new product. And they were kind enough to send me a promo copy so I could put my dirty paws all over it and give you guys a preview too. So in this video, I wanna do exactly that. I wanna open the box, which has been sitting in my house for two entire days and I've been trying very hard not to open it because I wanted to do it on camera. And so I want to bust into this package with you, discuss some very surface level things because truth be told, I don't really know that much about this battery, um, but I do understand that it's got some top notch new features in it. So without further ado, let's jump right in and hopefully this will be a good video. Ready, set, go. So, you know, for those that care, the packaging is very sleek. It's kind of resemblant of something Apple might put out. There's some general specs here on the back. So it weighs 11 pounds. Uh, the capacity of this battery is 288 watt hours. So that's how much energy it's capable of storing. The AC output is 600 watts with surges up to 1200 watts. That's pretty impressive. And then it's got a bunch of other stuff that I'm not gonna talk about because I'd rather show you. So let's bust into this. We got some materials that I might read later. Ooh, I presume that's a charger. And the guts. Check out this thing. All right, I'm gonna grab a seat. Wow, wow, wee wee, look at this. Okay, so on the front of this battery, you see the same great LCD screen as on the EcoFlow Delta. Let's just power it out, power it on real quick. Um, here, I don't know if the camera can pick this up because it's a little bit dim. Uh, because of my production light. It says input, wattage output, you got your, how charged it is percentage, capacity, and then you have your runtime in hours. So that's really cool. You also have a USB-C port. This is a 100 watt fast charger. Then you have three USB-A ports, one of which is fast charging. You got your little cigarette lighter over here on the right. And then you got two DC ports. Something that's new, that's brand new that I've never seen before is this little light. So should your power ever go out and you have one of these units and you know exactly where it is, you can walk through your house blind and then know that this thing has a flashlight and then you'll be able to kind of shine it out into the void and see what's going on. Oh, it has a low and a high setting. That's kind of cool. And it also looks like it has an SOS setting. So if you happen to find yourself stranded 
on a deserted island with one of these things. You could flash this thing into the sky at night and hopefully a helicopter or a boat will come pick you up. Let's turn that off so the fan doesn't kick on and ruin our audio. On the left side of this battery, we have how you charge it. We have a surge protector. This is essentially like a circuit breaker. This is where you plug in solar panels. The back is just bare. There's some branding. We've got some more specs on the bottom. Some heavy duty rubberized feet. And on the right side, we have three wall outlets, AC power. I'm not really sure what those things are, but I suspect it's so that you can daisy chain this battery to other things because the big breakthrough in this thing is that it is modular, which means that you can add extra battery capacity to this thing if need be. So if your needs are greater than the base model, then you can literally add batteries to it. I think that's really, really rad. Okay, let's see what lives in here. You got some various cords. And Some more paperwork that I may read someday. We'll dig into that at a later date. This is just a first look, so as I already mentioned, I don't know that much about it. For those that want to know more about it, I'll link to the Kickstarter below in the description. You can go check out all the specs and consult with the pros. In the meantime though, I also want to point out that I have one of the modular battery extenders. So check out this bad boy. So as I was saying, if 300 watts or just shy of 300 watts isn't enough power for you, you can upgrade and you can essentially install this into the R600 unit and you could double the capacity. So if this is 288 watt hours and this is 288 watt hours, then you essentially double it. You make it 576 watt hours. So you double your capacity. And I believe EcoFlow takes it even a step further where you can add more and more onto this and daisy chain even more battery life into this bad boy. So I'm really excited in the near future to play around with this more and really get a sense of what it's capable of. Uh huh, interesting. So let's just try it, let's see what happens. Let's just unscrew this thing. Kudos to you guys for sending me this awesome little tool. Usually the cheap tools that products ship with, they suck. Not this one though. Like this is something I might actually throw in my camera bag because it's a legitimate screwdriver. So you can take that little piece off. There's a plug here and a plug there. So I presume that means that goes like so. Clicks into place. And then this lid goes on the bottom. 
The expansion pack comes with longer screws because obviously now you have more battery to go through. So put those guys in. Hopefully everything lines up. There we go. Probably don't want to over tighten those because this thing is encapsulated in plastic. So if you're doing this at home, please don't do this with a power tool. That's just good practice. I have just doubled the capacity of this solar generator. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh, look at that light. That is gorgeous. There is a little reset button. I'm just gonna push it to see what happens. Cool. So, very quickly, I went from 288 watt hours to 578 watt hours. So I just doubled my capacity. Like I said, I don't know much about this battery yet. I've just read you know, some very surface level stuff, but they are on Kickstarter. They just launched on May the 12th, and in less than five hours, they are now at over $500,000 worth of investment. So this is gonna be a big deal. It already is a big deal. And what I wanna do on this channel in the future is I wanna rigorously test it as I did with the previous model, the EcoFlow Delta. And so if you have any specific requests, how you'd like me to test this thing, leave me a comment below, you know, say, Sergey, I want you to do this with it, or I want you to do that with it. And I'll read through your comments and I may just select one of yours. Uh, as I already mentioned, for more information, feel free to refer to the Kickstarter link in the description of this video. And that's about all I have to say for now. So over and out.